At first glance, this weathered shell of a ship in the center of Times Square looks like, well, a fish out of water. But the sculpture called Wake by Mel Chin is meant to recall New York's past and how that relates to its future. We could talk about climate change or political issues or economic issues, but I think that uh, creating artworks that provide an option and investigation into all our worlds a little deeper, deeply, probably be, be well placed right now. Shipping helped the city become a center of commerce, finance and entertainment. But the consumption on display here can be related to climate change. There's more to this exhibit than first meets the eye. In addition to the sculptural elements, there's a virtual reality component. And when you put on these goggles, it makes it look like Times Square is completely underwater. And if you don't want to wait in line to use the special HoloLens goggles created by Microsoft, you can download an app on your phone for a similar experience. When you're working in a space like Times Square, it's very difficult to control the environment. We have to be uh, a little bit pushy about keeping people out of the interactive space. A real immersion in living in a subterranean world. Where Called Unmoored, this second exhibit imposes a virtual world over Times Square. It's not art for art's sake, it's art to, to catalyze awareness. It looks like there's a whole bunch of boats coming up Times Square. It's pretty cool. Creating a mixed reality future in a city just a few meters above sea level in which global warming has gone unchecked. I saw boats moving through the air and also the ship was moving forward into the air with Jenny going into the air also. Past, present and future collide in an experience that suggests the very things that have earned Times Square the nickname Crossroads of the World could also be its undoing. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, New York.